Hey, so I know everyone's excited about the new Airtable AI beta. I don't do good at this content stuff, so I thought I'd make a quick video. One of the clients that I'm working with is my local county health department, and they have a relatively old website, and a lot of their processes are super manual. So one of the first things we did was we created a way to look at all their documents that they actually manage now, map them and all of the documents and document processes and programs into Airtable by creating a set of primary tables to kind of get that data flow. And then we went through and mapped all the processes that are related to the documents and departments, etc. And then created a way for those to work with those processes, both internally and externally. Um, internally, obviously, one of the ways we do this is through the dashboard. So we have a dashboard that kind of goes over their whole site. They can see their upcoming events, the different departments that they have, uh, different people they have, what departments those people run their processes, etc. cetera. Um, but for the external stuff, we have a new program called Life. And the Life program is something that we are building uh, as part of the three main services that we offer. And it allows people in the county to see any part of their life and how the county health department and all the county services can help them. This is where AI comes in. So there's a lot of county services, obviously. And when you go to the Life dashboard, it comes in and says you can look at your life calendar, your life milestones, your life moments. So all these different people in the county have all this institutional knowledge in their head. So what we needed to do was a way to get that knowledge out, but also create these compelling different touch point services. So we kind of played with the AI this morning, just to test it out, and this is what we came up with. So basically, they fill out a life moment, like in this case, prenatal care, birth, etc. We tie it back to an age range, a, a phase, a class, uh, an error in someone's life, and then the different programs and things that for their grants that they get. So in this case, I'm gonna walk you through a really simple scenario. I've got a, the name and then an internal description. So the internal description is something where we actually come in and we tell the team, just put in anything you can think of about this particular job. So in this case, for the rabies clinic, I'm gonna put in here, for pets, we offer a rabies clinic. So the first thing that happens in our three-step AI process is it does the details for this. So what we did was we went into the AI field and we described what the assistant was going to create. We said, you're a public health department AI, you work for Montgomery County, we have a life program that helps people understand the different services we do. We talk a little bit about the life program, and then down here at the bottom we say, we'd like you to create a description for this service name and description that the person just put in, and we kind of give them an example, and it goes ahead and generates that. So I'm going to go ahead and say, journey the details. Uh, for the AI assistant on the rabies clinic. So I just put in a little simple information. It knows about the Montgomery County Health Department and boom, it went ahead and did that. Rabies clinic is a monthly event, specific design of pets, kind of offers opportunity to residents to bring their pets, attending the rabies crap is a crucial stuff. So it does all the, all the good stuff that we needed to do. Then next, because this is filled in, uh, the why assistant will jump in. So why should you go to the rabies clinic or why should you participate in any particular service? So in this case, again, we tell it, you're the, you're the agent, this is the program, except now we go in and we tell, hey, we'd like you to tell about why, why having an, uh, a rabies or uh, the rabies shots and vaccinations are really important. It'll then go in and go ahead and look at the new description that the AI generated that we looked, that we put in we can edit that, change anything. It'll take that description plus the prompt, you work for the health department, and then create a compelling why statement. So the website when you're looking up, you're like, well, should I get rabies shots for my dog? I don't really know if this is important. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and talk more about the important things. So we prompted it, we give us stats, give us figures, give us real life health examples. So in this case, it says, you know, it's a serious and fatal disease. If it can be done, it can be scratched, please attend. Last thing was we have a Life Tip Pro. So what the Life Tip Pro is, same type of thing where we tell it, you know, about the program, about the health department. But now we say that it is going to give someone a life tip. And we say, try to speak personal from experience as if you were a friend to the person reading and sign it kind of with a little, you know, personalized signature. And the Life Tip Pro takes the best of the description, the best of the why statement, and then filters it through the context of you work for the health department to create a really compelling kind of why statement for the person reading the site, learning about the different services that the health department can have. And in this case, okay, you got me. I know what it is. I know why it's important. But now 
make it first person. So in this case, it says, hey, as a pet owner myself, I understand the importance of keeping every friend safe. The Rabies Clinic is a fantastic resource we have here in Montgomery County. I've taken my own pets there. The staff is amazing. Remember, it's not so about getting your pets vaccinated. It's a great opportunity to ask questions about your pet's health. So again, offering up personal assistance from someone who went through the service, in this case, training the AI to speak as a service. So mark your calendars for the next clinic, and we sign at MoGo, which is the name of the service. And what's really great is all of this information then gets routed out, available on the website, and creates compelling narratives and information for the residents in the county to learn about this. So this is a quick view of AI Assistant for Airtable. I don't make a lot of content. Sorry, I'm bad at this. My husband is really good, but that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you soon.